Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Welcome. We've got Little Bell Pyramids this afternoon, and I really hope you can join me for this one. I don't normally teach Wednesday lunchtime class. Uh, if I do, it's normally later. But we've got no exams today because it's smack bang in the middle of the summer holidays, and there's lots of people away. So I'm doing a class for our group instead. So, gang, I hope that you can hear and see me okay. If you need me to alter anything, uh, music wise, let me know, or mic wise. Good afternoon, Belinda. And you are going to need your kettlebell and you're going to need a mat, gang. I've got some pyramids for you. If you haven't done a pyramid before, this is where the first exercise is 50 seconds, second exercise is 40. Third exercise is 30. Sec uh, our fifth, fourth exercise is 20. And our fifth exercise is 10 seconds. Then you have a breather. And then you go back down that pyramid. So you start with a 10 second move, then a 20, 30, 40, 50. And then we do another pyramid. So I'm going to take you through, gang. We're going to do a warm up pyramid, first of all, with no weight at all. Then we're going to do a lower body focus pyramid, an upper body focus pyramid, and we're going to do an ab focus pyramid. So they are all going to be themed today. Lindsay, yay! Good afternoon, Wendy. Good, good to have you. So we're going to get you lovely and warm to start with. We're going to use the pyramid format yeah, for the warm up. Ready. And then we're going to be cracking on. Now, the 10 second move on all pyramids is essentially the hardest move. And often it will be a hold or it could be, you know, a tough move. You will only do for 10 seconds, okay? So hopefully that sounds good. Just your mat, just your kettlebell gang. Are we ready for this? Gang, let me know if there's anything I need to alter sound wise, and then we are going to get going. Yeah. So you don't need your weight to start with. Yeah, ready. Our first move of our warm up Exercise is going to be a tap, eight, and we're going to push four, across. Three, ready? Two, Let's go. We need to turn your body. That's it. You can either go with a punch of the hand, or you can reach it across. But you're turning through your upper back. You got a little tap on the toes. Well done. Stay nice and strong. The abdominals pull in. We're mobilizing through the back. A little bit of a turn on the hip as well. That's it. Good work. So again, take the legs wide. We're going to lunge. One. Rotate the arm at the same time. Open up the shoulder. We haven't done a pyramid for such a long time. I thought I would bring it back this week. We've been doing so many other formats because there's so many now. But it's great to do a pyramid. Well done. Open up that chest. Ten seconds to go. That's it. Release yeah, there. Ready. You got it? Okay, from here, take your squat and your spine twist. Take the legs as wide as you need to, gang. Turn your toes out. Sink down low and twist. That's it. Go down as deep as you can. Perfect. Give me a little step knee. We come up and through. Get that heart rate up a bit at the arms. Well done. Pulling it in. Okay, calm down and just release your back. Just 10 seconds to let that lower back lift and lower. 
Well done. Okay, take a little bit of a twist. Because we're warming up, we don't really want to have that rest. Make it an active rest. Feel free if you want to, to roll down. Relax through the back, relax through the shoulders. Inhale, exhale and rise. Roll the shoulders. Place your hands on your thighs again. Cat stretch for 10 seconds. Ready? Go up and down. So we go down the pyramid now. Same moves. We're going back to our step knee. Step right, knee left. Then alternate. Bring those arms in. Just 20 seconds to get the heart rate up. Good work. Do you remember your squat and your spine twist? Spine twist right. As we spine twist, if you want, extend the arm back now. That's it. Keep the abdominal strong, facing forwards to me. Good work. Open up that chest. Very nice. Take the legs wide, rotate the shoulders. Go. Loosen up. Hopefully, we're feeling warmer. Well done. So, side to side. If the shoulders feel good, but you want to go deeper with the hips, please feel free. I want to make sure that those hips are nice and warm, inner and outer thighs are nice and warm. And of course, the upper body. That's it. We're going back to your little tap. This time we're going to reach the arm up above the head, like this. So we're stretching through the waist. We've got this increase demand here with the arm above the head. Reach it there. Well done. Into that tap. Keep the abdominal strong. You've got it. Good work. So this first pyramid is our warm-up pyramid. Hopefully everything feels good. And you are ready. Ten seconds to go. So feel free to grab a drink, gang. And feel free just to release your wrists. Just take a little bit of time there because you know you're going to be using the hands and the wrists with the kettlebell. So, gang, we're going to do a lower body pyramid first. Grab a drink. Our first move, our 50 second move, is going to be our kettlebell swing. So just really make sure that your wrists are really nice and warm if you want to rotate them, mobilize them through as you're working through here. So this first pyramid, 50 seconds of our swing. Begins in four, Are we ready? Three, two, one, one. Push. That's it. Squeeze those muscles in the bottom. Well done. Take the feet wide, turn the toes. Your kettlebell doesn't need to come too high. Remember, this is a lower body pyramid. Big squeeze on the muscles in your butt, standing nice and tall. And we're not tilting too far forward, so if I show you from a side profile, you're not coming into full forward flexion. The kettlebell just travels back past your hamstrings. That's it. Shoot from the hip, big squeeze on the bottom. So again, we're going to take this down into a kettlebell squat. Hold the horns, drop. 40 second move. Again, take the feet wide. 
Good work. Big squeeze as you stand. Highest portion of the thighs, lowest portion of the bottom. Really thrust forward. Good with the hips. Kettlebell stays close to you on a kettlebell squat. Arms are tucked in. Chest up. That's it. Well done. So again, from here, we're going to come down into a deadlift and lift up. We break from the hip, light bend on the knee, come over with your flat back, push your butt away. We've got stiff through the legs, engaging the back of the hamstrings, head high, and again, big squeeze. Come through, figure of eight through the legs, like this. Bend down and switch. We rotate through into that figure of eight, head high. You've got it. Ten seconds to go. Good work, everyone. You're going to come down into a hold. You ready? Hold. Hands out if you wish. It's only ten seconds. If that kettlebell was too heavy, keep it here. Well done. So our first lower body focus pyramid is done. We're going to go back down the pyramid. So we start with a 10 second move in that hold. If your kettlebell was really heavy, keep it close to you. If it's not so heavy, extend away. Shake your legs. Get ready. We're ready. Exercise five in four. Feet go as wide three, as you want. Sit two, down low. One. Hold. Remember, you can be here. Get ready. Exercise four. In Stand it up. Three, Figure of eight through the legs. Let's go. Rotate through. Don't drop that kettlebell. Bend through the knees. Head stays up. Do you remember that stiff leg deadlift? That's coming in. Bring the feet under the hip bones and drop. And lift. Now this works really well if the kettlebell is heavy. And a big squeeze up through your butt. Well done. Chest open. So ideally, if you've got a couple of different weights with your kettlebell, you can really use the heavier ones for the lower body focus. Great work. Kettlebell squats. Drop. Elbows locked in. So you're not sticking those elbows out. Head is high. Ass to the grass always. That's keep the back lovely and long. Let me turn the side on so you can see me. Here's your alignment. Butt down, not back. Kettlebell in close. Chest up and head up. Squeeze and stand. Well done. You're going to take that kettlebell swing for our 50 second move. We are back down this pyramid. Let's go. Again, swings work really well with heavy kettlebell. You can use that momentum. Try not to take it too high. You're not taking this into an American swing, which is where they lift it really high up. Because I don't want this to be about shoulders. I want this to be about butt, back of the legs, lower back. Good work. Drive it through. Light bend on the knees. That's it. Are you squeezing as you shoot that kettlebell back up? The thrust comes from the hips. Good work. Well done. Okay, kettlebell down. Shake the arms. Get yourself a drink. So our next pyramid is upper body focused. Gang, we're going to start with a bicep curl. 50 seconds of this move. Because it's relatively easy with a kettlebell, I want to do a longer duration. Okay. 
and it's coming to join us. Halfway there. So when you do your bicep curl gang, you might want to be holding the horns or even holding around the belly of the kettlebell. Your elbows are going to come in close, your body is lovely and long, and you're going to lift and lower. So again, you're not going into forward flexion. We're not going to rock and roll through the body. Ready? Lift. Well done. So generally with my pyramids, the move that I use for my 50 second move is kind of a relatively easier one that we want to kind of overload by the reps. The moves then get harder as the pyramid goes up. Squeeze. Good work. Keep those elbows in, you're strong. So our 40 second move is gonna come in and this is going to be a shoulder press. We're gonna push above the head, overhead press right above the crown of the head. Okay, hold it here, you ready? You're going straight up. That's it. And again, you're holding the horns of the kettlebell above the head, but you're not locking the elbows. Nice and strong there. Squeeze the muscles in the bottom. That will protect your lower back. And if you tuck your bum under rather than sticking it out, again, that will feel better. Into that back there. Well done. Push. Good work. Gang, we're going to take a bent over row. Lean forward, bend the knees. Row here. That's it. You're holding the handle of the kettlebell. Elbows go wide, squeeze. You need a heavy kettlebell for this. Coming into that row. What we can do is do an alternated upright row if your kettlebell is quite light. We're going to take a tricep overhead press. Hold the horns or the belly and drop and lift. Elbows in. That kettlebell goes behind the head and straight up to the ceiling. Good work. Okay, from here, stand tall, hold the kettlebell out. Super strong. You're working through your shoulders. Yes, good work. So you know you're going to do that hold again, yeah? Get a drink if you need it. If your kettlebell was quite light and you weren't really feeling this, then we can stand tall and do a single arm upright row instead on those rows. So I'll remind you of both. Are you ready? Body tall, squeeze the bottom. Just push forward. Hold. That's it, strong there. Up at shoulder height, gang. Don't let the arms drop. Take it above the head. There. Triceps. Elbows stay close. You've got this. You're really working through the back of your arms. Fabulous. Okay, you ready with your row? You can be here if your kettlebell is heavy. Lift. If it's not so heavy, stand tall. Give me a single arm row. Lift up. Elbow high. You've got that. Halfway there. Lift. How's that feel? You with me? Well done. Good work, gang. Okay, so from here, we're going to take that into our push up straight above the head. Exhale. Lift. Overhead press, working through your shoulders. Exhale, lift. Good work. Breathe it away. Come on, you've got this. Push. Firing up those shoulders. 
Fantastic. Ten Exhale. Do you remember ready. your bicep curl? Exercise one. In. Four, okay, elbows three, in again. Two, one, one. You're there. Hold through the horns, gang. Lift and lower. We take the C curve out of our spine. Tuck your bottom under so you're not sticking your butt out. We're nice and strong and pull those arms in. Feel that work there. That's it. Press in. Keep this going. Be aware of how that feels in the front of your arm. Show in superb. So this one will complete our pyramid for our upper body. Well done. Take a 60 second rest in four, three, two. Good work. Okay, Kat, grab a drink. We've got one more pyramid to go. And we're going to be working our abs, our ab pyramid. I have to say my abs are absolutely killing. I've trained them so hard the last couple of days and I am in so much pain. My lower abdominals are killing. So if my technique is failing, gang, you'll know why. I've got severe doms in my lower abs. Okay, so our first move that we're gonna do, we're gonna come up nice and strong, lay ourselves back. Hands are gonna come above the head and we're gonna lift up into our 50 second ab curl. Only go up as high as you can as it feels good until you feel that pull. It's certainly not full sit up. It's like a crunch. So we're here. Exhale. Don't feel like you've got to match my speed. You can go faster than me if you want. Or slower. You don't have to match the music. See those abdominals really nice and strong and tight. Oh my gosh, with everyone, I feel it. Amazing work. We've got this. Oh, this here. Feet flat down onto the floor, or you can be on your heels if that works for you. Weight goes above the head, and then curl it. Good work. Come up. We're going to take a Russian twist. We take it down, come to centre. Little turn. Exhale it round. So you're looking where you're going. Lean back slightly, but keep your back really nice and strong. I would suggest you keep your feet down, especially if you're using a heavy kettlebell. You're stopping in the middle to correct that technique every single time. Strong and powerful. Precision over speed. We're coming down into the floor. We're going to take our single or double leg with an overhead press. So you can stay with your single leg if that works for you, or you can take a double leg gang. Exhale, pulling strong. Amazing. Ten seconds to go. Well done, everybody. Really good. Okay, gang, coming up from here. We're going to flat a kick. Lift the head and shoulders if you wish. It's only 20 seconds. You can do it. Hold strong. We're going to come to a V-set. Kettlebell above the head. Hold. Lift the legs if you want. Woo. These are tough. Otherwise, feet down. Yes. Okay, we need to go back down that pyramid and then we are done, I promise. Okay, a couple of things. With regards to the V sit, don't take the feet off the floor if that feels like you're compromising your technique and alignment. Feel free to stay with one leg. And if you prefer, rather than have your hands here, have your hands close. You decide. I'm going to take the shoes off this next round. Okay, are we ready? 
two, one. Hold strong. Ooh. Yes, go. Come down. Scissors. We're here. We can lift the head and shoulders if we want. Be where you need to be. Real scissor kick. We've got our double or our single leg extension. Back in neutral. The arms go overhead. Wow, so you're here and in. Feel free to go into that double. A like hundred of these. You can do them in sets of 20. And then I did a hundred leg raises, in leg raises. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're coming up. Russian twist, get ready. Drop. You're turning the body, looking where you're going. Rotate through. How's that feel? We're not compromising the spine. So pull up a little taller if you need to. Exhale it away. You're there. We've got one more move to do. You're going to be with me? It's our sit up. To go. Come down into the floor. Feet flat down. Kettlebell above the head. Little crunch. Halfway up. Let's go. Exhale. And again. Push. Holding him from hip to hip down. Come on, we can do it. Crunch. Breathe out. Let that kettlebell go back as far as you can go without compromising again the spine, staying strong. Into the back. Pull it up. Well done. Ten seconds to go. Fantastic work, everyone. Your workout is complete. Yay. Well done. Well done. Good work. Okay. Gradually bring yourself up. Grab yourself a drink if you need to. My gosh. Good work, everyone. That was powerful. Powerful kettlebells. And obviously, if you want to work harder, then just up your weights. If you've got a heavier weight, you absolutely can. Great stuff. Okay. Take a little walk around. My gosh, hopefully you felt that. Did you sweat? Release your shoulders. Loosen that off. So when that feels good for you, you're going to bring the hands back behind you. Let's open up the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lift those arms up as high as you can go. Amazing work. Ah, oh, no problem. Thanks, Wendy. Let's bring the arms forward round the back. Open up that upper back. Head comes down if you want, chin on the chest. Good work. Okay, take one leg back, push your weight forward on your front leg. Feel the stretch into the calf. While you're here, that right arm, bring it across the body, stretch the shoulder. If you want to look over the shoulder, feel free. Great work. Bring the back leg in, hamstring stretch. Pull the toes to you, all those stiff leg deadlifts. And those squats and kettlebell swings work through the hamstrings. Well done. Foot comes up. Take a quad stretch. Hold the wall if you need to. Foot to hand, hand to foot. Equal resistance here, gang. Push your hip forward. Ideally, you want those knees in alignment. You're holding strong. Perfect. Bring that leg back. 
Push the weight forward on the front leg. Good work. This time, left arm comes across. Feel the stretch in the shoulder. Look over it if you want. So we've had some savage classes today already. That one and the box burn. Definitely strong today. Bring your back leg in, hamstring stretch. All the toes to you if you want to. Push that weight back. Take the quad stretch, foot goes into the hand. Knees in alignment. Remember, you can always hold the wall or a chair, whatever you need to do there. Good stuff. Let's bring the fingers down to the floor. Stretch your forearm. Change sides. Well done. Take the arm up. Tricep stretch. Remember, you can stay here if you want. You don't have to lean. But if you like the lean, bend the knees and come over. Then release and change. And we've got a bit of freestyle pump tonight. It's a longer class, 40 minutes. Well done. Roll those shoulders back. Take a breath. Exhale. Right arm up and the left. Right hand forward and the left. Right palm in and the left. Give yourself and each other a super round of applause. High fives, high tens to everyone. That was wicked. So you did a pyramid for your warm up. You also did a pyramid for your lower body. You did a pyramid for your upper body. You did a pyramid for your abs. That mix gang was from Hit 11. So if you're an instructor and you liked it and you want to copy it and use it, then it's Hit 11. Uh, really, really good. Ah, oh, well done. Well done. Well done. Good work. Who's that that said that was tough, but good? That's a coming up Facebook user. And it might be Gemma. I noticed that Gemma needed to uh, update her stream yard. Yeah, it is. Gem, you need to just update your stream yard, love. Click on that link uh, whenever you get a chance, and that will update that for you. Yes, Lynn. Lynn said that was so tough, but I need food. Me too. I haven't even had anything to eat apart from a greens juice this morning. So I definitely need some food now. Belinda said, such a hard workout. Great to have pyramids back. No problem, Gemma. That's absolutely fine. Good work, everyone. Yay! So I'll see you either tonight, live 6.30, or I'll see you on catch up at some point. See you soon.